Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Patrick Montes Dioca with the uh, Equity Management Academy live trading room, live streaming from Ticket Talker. What I would like to do is invite you to uh, uh, the virtual money show and explore the interactive uh, virtual money show here that I am doing on the 11th at 3.40 Eastern time. That's next Tuesday. I would be a guest speaker here. And what I want to share with you is simply the uh, uh, number one episode, uh, which is uh, specifically geared for the VCPMI for the beginner. Intelligent algorithmic trading systems. Humans are smart. We have sent men to the moon. We have harnessed nuclear power. We have created beautiful symphony, paintings, and art. We do have our limitations. However, the inability to fully understand and profit from complex financial markets runs up against those limitations. Therefore, many traders and analysts have turned to mathematics and computers to attempt to model the markets and predict future price movements in order to trade profitably. Algorithmic trading systems use mathematical models to analyze financial markets to determine when to buy and sell as we as well as to execute and manage orders once they have been placed. Such systems can be manually operated by human traders, partially automated by human traders in algorithms or fully automated through the use of algorithms in a form of artificial intelligence. Technical and fundamental analysis. The VCPMI relies on technical analysis to analyze markets and predict future movements. Many traditional analytical approaches rely on technical analysis, which seeks to use price trends and patterns in charts to provide information on potential future prices. Such an approach uses historical prices and indicators to identify zones of supply and demand where buyers and sellers are likely to change the price of the financial product in an attempt to profit and predict future price movements. Technical and fundamental analysis. The VCPMI is designed for day swing and long-term traders and hedgers. The VCPMI produces a trading structure of five levels of supply and demand based on daily, weekly, monthly, and annual data. The mean or market price to buy levels below the market buy one and buy two and two sell levels above the market sell one and sell two. When prices reach these extreme levels above or below the mean, it is a 90% buy one and sell and 95% buy two and sell two. Probable that prices will revert back to the mean by the end of the trading session, daily, weekly, monthly, or annual, depending on the data used to create the structure and the levels. The VCPMI prepares you ahead of time, prospectively, the levels to exceed and execute for the next trading session. By removing the guesswork and random trading out of your trading, you become an executor, in essence, a real trader, instead of trying to analyze where the market is going, minute by minute, day by day, and month by month. Chances are that by the time you find out where the market is going, by using conventional forms of analysis or wisdom, it will be too late, especially in today's rapid electronic and virtual environment where a second can make the difference between a fortune gained and a fortune lost. The variable changing price momentum indicator automated. The variable changing price momentum indicator VCPMI is an intelligent automated algorithmic trading system. The primary driver of the VCPMI is the principle of the reversion to the mean. The system is based on fundamental logic and the principles of wave counts, Fibonacci numbers, Again, principles, supply and demand levels, pivot points, moving averages, and momentum indicators. 
the concept, connecting all these individual factors into one directional algorithm is the science of vortex mathematics. The VCPMI currently runs on five markets, gold, silver, soybeans, e-mini S&P, 500, crude oil, and we have added Bitcoin. The program is completely automated by using TradeStation Technologies, Inc., and is available from the TradeStation App Store. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals, our variable changing price momentum indicator, VCPMI is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI Algorithm The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VCPMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit ema2trade.com for more details. For those self-directed traders, I think it would be a great opportunity to uh, have a good idea of what I do. And for those uh, traders that are currently in the trading room, that are currently um, in my team, so to speak, uh, or subscribers here, we're going to be having a uh, uh, course uh, that I believe uh, will really, really uh, uh, be able to help you to navigate and apply and take advantage of this uh, of this incredible tool so stand by we're going to have a lot of stuff coming out here over the next few months we're working on some really really terrific uh, terrific mm -hmm. content uh coming into uh, coming back to the market here we uh looking at the uh, silver market and we have made a high pretty much of 2780 here this morning the uh, sell one daily level uh, is 27.93. The sell to level is 28.43. Now, we have activated a bullish daily price trend momentum into an overbought weekly condition. The market is trading above the sell to weekly 27.21. So the weekly uh, program basically um, the weekly algorithm is neutral at this point the market coming back here to uh, the uh, end of April as you can see build and accumulated the supply that was anticipated by the VCPMI and we uh, looked at the market being above the 360-day 
by one level here, which was basically 2585. And what we want to see basically is how the supply is handled up here, which is really what the uh, AI is suggesting here that from 2721 all the way up to 2843. It's a, an area where it's a dangerous area for buyers, basically. Even though the market can still run up to 2793 and 2843, meet the targets, it's pretty, uh, it, in terms of a mathematical probability, it's a low probability. You're looking at a 90 to 95% probability that we're going to experience supply. Uh, so the buy-in probability factor is anywhere just from five to 10%. Um, and personally, what I do and what I'm doing is I am looking to execute the highest probability trades that I can find as a trader. I don't want to trade standard deviation 50-50. It, you know, it can go either way. So the first thing I want to do here is identify where the market is as a GPS today for silver. We've identified a high area or high probable area mathematically that we're going to see selling supply. Buying up here is very weak especially after completing the patterns. The uh, other signal is if it doesn't get up to 2793 to 2843, and if it closes below 2721, then we're looking at a weekly short trigger being activated. So stand by with uh, silver here. We've uh, locked in as of yesterday, uh, some pretty pretty nice profits so we're we're looking pretty comfortable here this morning the gold market seems to be uh rallying uh, or it has stronger buyers you might say than the silver market and it has completed the uh, second target of 1842. As you can see, the sell to level here for today is 1842. Now, we suggested uh, yesterday to take protection. If you were trading in the futures, obviously you met the targets, but if you held your overall position here, uh, use this as an indicator to pretty much identify what the market is telling us. So why don't we take a look at that and see for gold what it is saying here. First of all, the market broke out of this ascending channel that I pointed out. And by breaking out of this channel, it met the target of 1829, which was the daily sell one level, and 1842 for today. Right above the market, you're looking at the sell to monthly level of 1850. You also see that the price is in an area in red. This whole area is the distribution of supply area. And so the daily signal at 1842 completed the target when the market rallied through 1844.60. 
at about 5.45 a.m. I want to make an important point uh, for day traders here uh, in the U.S., so to speak, that only day trade the market. Um, it's very difficult when you get this kind of a move on the Globex, for example, to take advantage because some traders uh, don't have access to the Globex at night. And what is unusual is that these moves tend to happen at night, either on the upside or the downside, when the U.S. is closed or the majority of U.S. traders, which only trade the day session, can't trade. So you get this thrusts uh, of uh, buying in a very thin market that completes the patterns indicated here. And when you come in as a US trader, you've got to be looking at where you're buying. What is the temperature? And in terms of identifying the temperature, for example, this red level is a red sign a red flashing sign for buyers that is saying caution. Buying up here is low probabilities, particularly after it completes the targets and activates a short trigger. So we're in a short trigger right now daily at 1842. 39.80 was the entry point. And the stop is 18.42. For those traders in my trading room, and for you self-directed audience, if you want to follow a real signal, we're pretty much activating a real signal. And... You know, if you are new uh, to uh, my uh, my live trading here, then you may want to possibly simulate the trade on your platform. Don't jump in unless you understand the dynamics of the VCPMI. So here, you can go short, put a stop here at 18.42. Eighteen forty-two. For conservative traders, you can use that stop on a close above. So the. VCPMI identifies for you a very specific structure, an entry point. The AI tells you it went short at this price. Your stop is right above, depending upon how you want to manage that uh, level, either conservatively or, or not. You got three choices. Conservative is a close above. A catastrophe stop is a dollar amount that you can afford to lose according to your profile. And the, the third one is basically to wait until the end of the day. And you can use these multiples, uh, this if you want to trade multiples if the price triggers the levels above, particularly uh, the 1850, for example. And put a stop at 1850 above, and you go neutral. The 
the AI identifies the area above cell one and cell two as a high probability that uh, we're going to experience seller supplies. It is called a distribution of supply, particularly when you're connecting the monthly targets of cell two level now, which has a 95% probability on its own. It's, it's completing daily, weekly, and monthly patterns. This is the first level of resistance that we come up against the signal against the uh, moving average bullish price trend momentum that was activated by the market closing above 1810. Here's where the trend turned bullish, the price trend momentum, and automatically it activates the levels above and the target of that daily signal excuse me <coughs> is 21.64 so now we have a major signal making uh, but we are in on a shorter term targets meeting certain objectives, you might say, short term. Um, if those, you can use those levels for you as targets. So here you can Stop yourself out and wait until the market goes up to 1850 or look to sell more at 1850. Depending upon your risk and money management abilities, what the AI is saying to you here is fade into this rally. The higher it goes into that 1850, the higher the probability that we are going to get a reversion back to the mean. This is when the algorithm is identifying the extreme levels above the mean. And in this case, we're looking at a daily, weekly, monthly targets being completed. Now, the other relationship that I want to point out to you that I've been talking about is the harmonic relationship in the markets between the daily, weekly, monthly, and also the uh, conventional, you might say, standard technical analysis uh, like Fibonacci retracements that we use. And here at 1850, not only have we identified the cell two target monthly, but the 38.2% retracement that we have seen from 2089 to the low that we made back in March, back in March, of 2020 last year so we're looking at a potential what the chart general chart is saying a breakout right in gold and we want to pay attention to that um opening up the chart a little bit here It looks like the market is almost at the same level here that it was made uh, in January. So this is the resistance line crossing since January. And it looks like a very bullish pattern. There's no question. So, but using conventional charts, they it doesn't tell you the targets. 
that occurs during the process and the evolution of price direction or the erection or movement you might say the market never goes up on a straight line and within that structure you might say your price that identifies certain way patterns that are consistent in reappearing over and over again and within those wave patterns are smaller waves and smaller waves and so on and so forth. And this is what Elliott Wave obviously starts to identify as minuet waves and, you know, wave patterns in different time frames. The market trades in wave patterns. And that's pretty much what the structure that we, that we trade uh, we're using. These levels here are wave patterns as part of the components of the algorithm. And what the wave pattern is saying here for uh, the, uh, the CPMI algorithm is that we're approaching the completion of this wave pattern at 1850. At 1850, it completes the pattern, the previous pattern. And when the market completes the previous pattern, what it will do is it will revert back to test the equilibrium, to test the average price, to see where the supply and demand equilibrium, once again, can be identified. So what you're looking at now is a real-time signal Activating again, confirming a short trigger from the daily 1842. For those viewers that are following this, this is a live signal recommending to go short gold on the close at 7.30 in one minute. And we're probably going to add another contract. Now, once again, automatically, when the trade is activated, you use the level above, depending upon your profile for risk and money management, whether you're conservative or aggressive. You can choose to use this also to initiate additional multiple positions like I did. Automatically, when the signal is activated, it activates the target below, which is 1829. And when the market reaches this level, if it doesn't, you know, stop you out, here's where you can unload your multiples in some fashion. It activated a short trigger again the short trigger target is 1829, the stop is 1842. It locks you in the structure. You don't need to worry about uh, what is gonna happen, is gonna happen anyway. The market will do what it needs to do regardless of what you think is gonna do. So now we've locked in this structure, this trade. And you know, from uh, 42, if you went short here, you're looking at 39 or 38 uh, to 29. You know, that's a thousand dollars trade range that is identifying for you. And there again, it gives you the luxury for you to decide how you are going to drive this this GPS for trading. Now, um, there is no guessing, there is nothing to do. I don't, I'm not including fundamentals. I'm not including anything that happened today fundamentally, which actually is a, a pretty, pretty good confirmation of uh, why we are recommending a long-term gold long position, a core, a bullish core position. The 
unemployment numbers were not as uh, robust as expected, uh, and therefore it has taken the pressure of the Fed, so to speak, to uh, tighten uh, on a, as a consequence of, a, uh, you know, a boiling economy, so to speak. And so it's taking the edge of, uh, you might say, rising interest rates, which is pretty bullish for the gold market. But here's a point in case uh, that I want to uh, uh, tell you how I interpret the fundamental news that came out, uh, particularly as buying the rumor and selling the fact. The fact of the matter that came out today is that uh, the uh, numbers were disappointed regarding the unemployment numbers that came out. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was effectively unchanged on uh, 34,552 points, underperforming as the government labor market report suggested that only a slow pickup in employment despite the broad reopening of the economy. And this is the reason why the gold market rallied up here. It's been anticipating this news that we're not into a an economic uh, robust economy by any means, but we are simply struggling again to find employment, for people to find employment. And so the Fed's have to continue to keep rates low. They have to continue to stimulate the economy. So this became old news up here, ladies and gentlemen, and we are selling the fact. We bought the rumor at 1677 in recommended, and now we're selling the fact. The fact is that the economy is not uh, uh, as expected. But the market anticipated that just like it did back in 2020 at 2089 when we saw the high. And what I'm pointing out to you that the gold market doesn't trade fundamentals, right? The fact came out and the market now is in a short trigger as we take a look at it microscopically. And this is how trends develop. Not only are, do, we, uh, do we have a short trigger based on the daily, but we have almost a double top making. So I'm comfortable being synthetically hedged. We are continuing to uh, make money on our uh, hedge position here as recommended. And I want to wait until the market relieves this uh, overbought condition in red and we can uh, find, you know, the price trading, you might say, in the blue section, in the blue area, as it did back you know, in the 5th of May, just a couple of days ago, uh, was activating by signals all over the place. The weekly signal above 1771 was very clearly, clearly activating by triggers. And this is what I've been pointing out uh, over the last few videos uh, that you see. But now I'm looking at the reversion to be at the extreme above the mean and what the AI is recommending, take some profits up here, lock in, hedge, synthesize. 
you don't need to eliminate the upside potential that we're looking at by synthesizing the market, by hedging the market short term, by locking in profits. This is how we are close to 500%. Building equity in trading into this extreme above and extreme belows opportunities. Continue to maintain your short position until the target is completed. As the market begins to move in your direction, you can trail the stop. You can trail uh, a stop. That is, This is the only time that we recommend for you to trail a stop, is when the position begins to enter a profitable trade, a profitable equity position. Now, if you made on the first contract more than $300, I recommend, you know, just uh, take it. Uh, lock in profits, and uh, at least on the first contract, you can let the other one go. Trail your stop. You know, this is how you lock in profits. So, you don't, you know, you reduce the risk of your principal by locking in a profit, even if you do a multiple of two. This is how you execute multiples. Besides the derivatives underneath the market where you can do stocks, ETFs, you can, you know, uh, trade the market uh, up and down using ETFs, bearish bullies, uh, singles, doubles, triple X velocities, de depending upon how you want to manage the risk in each instrument. This is what it's all about. It's simply managing the risk of each instrument that you can apply that is related to a sector that you choose. In the futures markets, you know, when we're trading a sector, for example, in the gold market, if you look at the derivatives underneath the market, you're looking at thousands of stocks, ETFs, uh, instruments that you can customize a strategy for you, for your portfolio. Very, very uh, successfully from a mathematical probability point of view. So as you're looking at the signal here, I'm short uh, now one contract. I've locked in about 350 on my first contract and my target is 1829 on my second contract and I'm trading the market with a stop so that at least if it uh, reverts back up again, you know, I'll get stopped out at a profit. I was uh, looking at this and, and, you know, I'm doing pretty much real time live trading and analysis here. And I mentioned here that this has formed even a, uh, what looks to be a, a double top. So, closing below 1829 on the daily would complete the target of 1829. It will confirm the double top and a close below 1829 would activate another short trigger.
And this is how the algorithm identifies for you the pivot levels that engages and activates automatically the algorithm. Thirty-two forty. When when I uh, accomplish about a thousand dollars in profits here, I, I make a point of uh, taking uh, and uh, basically. I take a look at the market here as it approaches the next level. So, you know, I'd like the 900 bucks, pretty good, pretty close to uh, my $1,000 a day objective. And I want to see now the action and the energy of the market in this price range, how it behaves, how the supply and demand um, behaves up here and how the price reflects on that uh, supply and demand. And if we get the uh, supply uh, to uh, uh, push the market below 1829 and activate uh, a short trigger there. I may go in and take another short trigger. But right now I made a 900 bucks here as I showed you how to do, how to use uh, this level here that identifies sellers coming in, which it does, it did. Uh, also, it came down, met the target the first time We've done twice, almost, the same trade here. Uh, early this morning at 545, the market activated a short trigger. It completed at 29. It reverted right back up. It went up again, activated another short trigger, and this is the, the trigger that we took on this live presentation, and we've locked in $900. And this is how you trade multiples, how you trade and apply and execute the VCPMI, which stands for the Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator. The silver market is showing more weakness than the gold market this morning. Yeah, we got out of the market uh, in gold here, took profits, $900 profits, and that, that was a nice trade. So we're waiting for the market uh, to activate another trade for us. But, you know, this is what, uh, as a self-directed trader, you need to do is basically for you to uh, take control actively. The algorithm is going to give you the direction of the market, it's going to give you the probabilities, it's going to, you know, uh, pretty much tell you we completed the targets, but it doesn't tell you the intelligence of the AI, uh, you might say, uh, that it said, or the algorithm that tells you go short here if it uh, uh, meets the target and closes below. It doesn't tell you go short here in the same way. This, this, uh, these are signals that I'm reverse engineering, teaching you, sharing with you here live uh, in this platform, and I am as well trading it, but for the benefit of those self-directed individuals that are looking for something new, something different than what you hear on the internet. Um, you don't hear many traders talking about mean reversion trading. 
because they don't understand the function of the market. Uh, uh, most traders, with all due respect, simply use what's out there. But uh, I think that that is only the basis for you as an individual trader to begin your individual growth process, basically, that essentially is identifying the elements and the components of a program that can work for you, of a system that can work for you. Whether it's any, a fundamental system or whether it's flipping a coin, you know, uh, as long as it gives you the probabilities mathematically, then you have something to work with. So we're using uh, mathematics to identify the extreme reversion of the mean. And within that mean, it identifies a very specific structure, a Fibonacci structure. It identifies the pivot levels, but beyond just identifying the pivot levels, the pivot levels become ignited with the algorithm into color that identifies the visual, the visual climate of the market. 29, 30, trading last, so we're coming down to uh, meeting the target of 1829. <sighs> What the market is saying, ladies and gentlemen, from just a mathematical perspective, is that it has completed the patterns, the targets that needed to complete. And the last target that it needs to complete the monthly pattern is 1850. We got up to 1844.60 and found sellers in this area which i described as distribution of supply and activated a short trigger from the cell two daily and completed the cell one target and now it has formed a double top and if we close below 1829 then we're going to be looking at an acceleration to the downside and if it does break through the uh, cell one level, then we're looking at activating 1805. 1805 as the average price daily that we're looking at. Let's just continue to uh, monitor the markets at these levels here. Uh, I'm checking out some of the other, some of the other derivatives as well here.
The silver is weaker than the gold market this morning, and it seems to be leading the way down here. The uh, virtual, uh, the virtual uh, currencies, uh, uh, Bitcoin is uh, reverting uh, this morning, and uh, we're looking at coin. We've uh, purchased coin as well, and we're we're holding on to uh, to coin. We're getting. Uh, what looks to be a uh, bullish price trend momentum developing here. So we want to hold on to this, to this asset. Coin is up 7% this morning. So um it's confirming that uh, we're on the right side of the market there the gold market is consolidating up here so um let's just continue to monitor this here
continue to uh, maintain the uh, synthetic position here that uh, we recommended yesterday. Uh, continue to hold on to dust as a hedge uh, and continue to hold on your bull calls uh, for the uh, uh, trading room, my traders here. And uh, let the market uh, alleviate some of this uh, overbought condition here that seems to be in. But uh, the move is not over yet. What I'm what I'm uh, showing you here is how pretty much I'm using the short term gyrations in the market to trade uh, uh, and generate liquidity short term and continue to add to my long term positions. Uh, listen, everybody, once again, thank you so much for the opportunity to share this with you. And I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. OK, and you got a little more today that makes you a better trader. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you next time. The risk of loss in trading commodity interests can be substantial. You should therefore carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your financial condition, and considering whether to trade or to authorize someone else to trade for you. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And welcome to another edition of the Ticker Talker Spotlight here on Ticker Talker TV. I'm Bill Barry, Global Head of Business Development for Ticker Talker. Uh, with me today 